Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Webdev. In this short, what we will try to do is we will try to uh, write the test cases for an interceptor. So normally, what is an interceptor? So you people may be having a doubt. If you people uh, doesn't know about this one, just I will try to give a short uh, introduction of this one. So what is this? Is an interceptor. So normally, the interceptor means. So what we can say it is. Let me open here in our code. Yeah. So an interceptor in Angular is a function or a service that allows you to modify or inspect the HTTP requests and also the responses before they are sent or received. Common use cases include adding authentication tokens to the request, logging or error handling, modifying headers for all outgoing requests. So what is this interceptor? So normally when you are trying to make a HTTP request to a backend server or whenever you are receiving a response from a backend server. So whenever you are sending a request, so if you want to modify that request, so like let's say that you need to add for every request a token or otherwise you need to send uh, for every request a something header if you want to send it instead of writing all the places so you can write an interceptor so that whenever you are trying to send an HTTP request to the server so this function will be executed or this logic will be executed for every request you are making or otherwise whenever you are trying whenever you are receiving the response from the server so all the time when you are receiving the server response so this interceptor will be executed and so that you can add some more uh, response thing to that one so that is the thing so where we where this commonly we will be using this one is for adding the authentication token to request for example let's say that for every request you are making you want to add an authentication token means so you can use an interceptor or logging or error handling so whenever you are uh, whenever you are getting an error instead of handling uh, for every uh, request so you can write an interceptor for error, error handling and modifying headers for all outgoing requests so whenever you are trying to send a request for outgoing request so if you want to modify the address means you can use this interceptor so that is the thing so in this uh, video we will try to see the exact use case for adding an authentication token so for this authentication token what i will be trying to do it is so i need to create an auth.service.es file so here let's try to create an auth.service.es file so here i will be creating in the services auth service.es file so i will be not writing any logic in this one so just i will show you uh, injectable so let's try to have an injectable which should be imported and here provided in root okay so this is the common thing which you'll be able to have and here i can have export class auth service so this is our auth service and here uh, what i can do so just you'll have a get auth token or something like that this is just simple method i will have get auth token so we so much logic you will be having just i will return mock auth token okay so we are uh, using the for testing purposes so just i am using a mock, mock auth token that's it so this is a simple thing which i will be trying to do it now let's try to create an interceptor for this one so now here i will be trying to make an interceptor new file auth dot interceptor.ts file so this is our interceptor.ts file so interceptors we can write it in angular 19 in two ways normally before to prior to angular 19 or 18 so we used to implement the class based interceptor which we will try to see it in our next upcoming video how we can implement the class based interceptor but the most uh, in from angular 19 onwards the most recommended way to use it is the functional interceptors so to write it so i will i will write it export function auth interceptor oh sorry I'm not writing it here export function auth interceptor okay interceptor and this is our auth interceptor and this auth interceptor you will be able to see two two arguments will be there request which is of type or otherwise you can write it something like this also so it's not a problem const export export sorry export constant auth interceptor sorry auth interceptor of type auth inter interceptor sorry interceptor http interceptor function yeah so this is the thing so now you will be able to implement like this also you can able to implement so now here in this one auth interceptor so now here this receives this this receives uh, if i try to over here you will be able to see auth interceptor so we'll, we we will be able to take it uh, two things that is nothing but one is request which is of type http request okay http request which is of type unknown you can keep it as an
other one is which you will be able to get it is the next http handler function okay http handler function that's it so now this is the auth interceptor now what it will be expecting is so we need to re, uh, return the observable so here it returns an observable so it returns an observable so let's try to take it first we will import the auth service auth service is equal to inject of auth service so we are injecting the auth service why because we need to get a token and here i will be trying to do the clone request clone request is equal to request whichever the request we are having so i am trying to clone the request and i will be adding the headers so whatever the headers we are trying to do it we are having the headers request dot headers dot and here i you can use the append and in this append now uh, what i will do so we will be having x hyphen authentication hyphen header so just i am adding or otherwise token okay x hyphen authentication hyphen token and what i will try to do auth service auth service dot get to auth, auth token that's it so now we are adding that token here now what i will try to do so this uh, headers right so this one i want to send it so now if i want to send this one means so what i will be trying to do here return next of clone request so i am sending the that's it finished so this is our simple auth interceptor so now we need to write the test case for this one so this writing the test case for this one is very easy so do, don't don't think that there is too much difficult so if you are following my previous videos so it will be very easy so auth interceptor dot spec dot ts file and here i will be writing describe of so here i will be writing describe of auth interceptor and this one takes the method and here you can write the before each oh, not the before all before each yeah and here you can write test bed test bed dot configure the testing module and here you will be having the uh, whatever the things you want to you can use it so first one is uh, what you want it auth service so you need to sorry providers you need to provide the providers and the providers what it will need first one is the auth service sorry it should be an array providers first one what it need is so auth service and the next one is uh, which it is needed is a provide provide http client okay and here you need to provide with interceptors so we need to provide with inter Interceptors of an array and here you need to implement the auth interceptor. Okay, so now at the last you need to give it provide HTTP client provide HTTP client Sorry Provide HTTP client testing. So that's it. So this is our test bit configuration module So auth interceptor which should be imported so we are not importing it yeah we have imported it fine now we need to have a http client so in order to make the method we not to make the call so there is nothing but let which is of type http client and another one what we need to have so we need to have another one is nothing but auth uh, http testing so http testing which is of type http testing controller and uh, let's say auth service also will try to take it i don't know whether it will be useful or not so if it is not useful means let's try to use it so now this is our uh, thing and after completion of this configuring of this one so we need to have an http client so for this one what i can do here http client is equal to testbed dot inject of http client so we have used this one so now http testing is equal to testbed sorry test bed dot inject of here we need to have http testing controller and the last one is nothing but auth service is equal to so we need to have auth service that's it so now we have all the details so now let's try to use it so now first the uh, call which i will be trying to make it is the it should the authentication token that's it right so now when we are trying to call the any request means authentication token should be added 
so now we are trying to make a request so now when you are trying to make a request http client so dot get off so you will try to make any some request if you api slash config and uh, here uh, what you can do dot subscribe so you can do the subscribe so that means it will be now i will be trying to do constant sorry constant request is equal to http testing dot so we should expect one request should be made that is also to the url a slash api slash config so now we are able to make the request so now i will be trying to check that expect of request dot request dot headers so we will be having the headers dot get off so i will be trying to uh, take the this authentication token so i will be taking authentication token so this one okay so authentication token to equal so i need to check to equal that is nothing but we can check it something like auth service dot get auth token that's it finish so this is the thing which we'd be trying to make it so now what i will do so here i need to send the response right so after completing this one all so i will be doing request dot flush off so i will send some empty response or something like that that's it now if you try to test this case so let's try to test this case so let's see whether we can able to run the test case or so now we are able to successfully uh, uh, test case has been passed so auth interceptor should add the authentication token so now the authentication token has able to successfully thus the scenario is passing so what we have did it here so we have configured the testing module and we have registered the auth service registered the interceptor with inter using the method interceptors and we have added the http testing controllers for mock the http request and the response and we have injected the dependent dependencies like http client which is used to make the http request http testing controller which is used to inspect and control the request and response auth service is to validate the token and we are we are testing the interceptor so we a simple http request we have, we have made a simple http request with using the http client dot get and we are expecting that only one request retrieves that intercept request and we are checking that that request is inspected to check if the x authentication token header is added or not that's it and we compare the header value with the token provided by the auth service dot get auth token to ensure that interceptor correctly modifies the request or not so this is how you will be able to do it so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel